States has paid a huge price to put the future of Iraq in the hands of its people. President Barack Obama outlining the next chapter in America's military mission. He said today is a symbolic deadline to end combat operations in Iraq. But the president used that platform to also speak about a renewed energy focused on Afghanistan. No challenge is more essential to our security than our fight against al-Qaeda. And that is a tough fight ahead. Just today, roadside bombs and gunfire claimed the lives of five more U.S. troops, and all 19 American service personnel have been killed there since Saturday. But a positive sight in Iraq today. Thousands of Iraqi soldiers and police officers took to the streets to demonstrate that they're ready to take over from U.S. troops. KXN's Shannon Wolfson joins us live with reaction to the president's message tonight and more on the role Texas troops are playing in this military transition. Shannon? Yeah, as we know, Texas troops have played such a big role in both the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. They and their families have made so many sacrifices. And despite today's developments, those sacrifices will continue. President Obama started his day with the troops at Fort Bliss in Texas. Our combat phase is over, but we've worked too hard to neglect the continuing work that has to be done by our civilians and by those transitional forces. 3,500 of those transitional troops in Iraq will come from Fort Hood. Looking forward to help out the soldiers over there. Jamal Wilkins is one of those Army soldiers. Looking ready for it to get over with and everybody be at peace. Stop all this fight and stuff. But U.S. troops will continue to fight. The main focus now will be combat operations in Afghanistan, though President Obama promised that would soon end as well. The pace of our troop productions will be determined by conditions on the ground, and our support for Afghanistan will endure. But make no mistake, this transition will begin because open ended war serves neither our interests nor the Afghan peoples. Anytime we're not sending young American men and women uh, into combat is a good thing. Jim Richmond works with soldiers on the other side, the ones shifting from military to civilian life. The thing that is the most astounding across the board is the, the sacrifice without complaining. The Texas Veterans Commission estimates 200,000 Texas military service members have served in combat in Iraq in the last seven and a half years. President Obama also used his speech tonight to talk about his commitment to helping all veterans, especially those suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injuries. Live in the studio, Shannon Wolfson, KXAN, Austin News. Shannon, thanks. Along with the troop transitions and veteran services, President Obama also said... Our most urgent task at hand is to restore Americans' economy. You can read his remarks in their entirety online now at KXAN.com.